Hi Tom, uh, nice to meet you. I'm delighted that you're, you're working at PHS. I think it'd be really good if you tell myself uh, and the, the audience just a, a little bit about you and your background and then how you got into doing a PHS apprenticeship. Yeah, so prior to working at PHS, I was working in retail and it was after I got made redundant in retail, um, an opportunity came up in PHS who then contacted me and offered um, a chance to interview for their apprenticeship for, uh, in customer services, Okay. which I took the opportunity and yeah, went from there. Okay, and how did you find it? Uh, I found it really good, to be honest. Um, it's one of the things I've said, we've got quite a lot of apprentices in customer service yeah. at any given time. And it's something I've said to quite a few of them when I've spoke to them is, I genuinely think it is the best way you can be onboarded. Okay, um, so you'd into, recommend into it? Business. Yeah, I would absolutely recommend it because it gives you, not only do you get a qualification personally out of it, but in terms of being onboarded into the business, yeah. gives you a more detailed background about um, the job you're actually working. Okay. But also outside of that, it gives you a more well-rounded picture of the business okay. from other pieces of, um, of work that you've got to obviously do as a part of your apprenticeship and a part of the theory you work with that. Okay, and what did the apprenticeship entail? Because I'm sure it was more than answering all the, all the cases that we have coming to us every day into customer services. Yeah, so the apprenticeship was kind of was split, I would say, 50-50. A lot of it was um, theory work, so it would be kind of a case of you've got these bullet points, um, these questions and assessment criteria, you've got to give the theory be uh, behind those uh, okay. different criteria. But on top of that as well, then, there was a lot of... I completed mine during... Um, whilst COVID was kind of... It was the tail end of COVID, but um, it was still a thing. Um, and so, whereas... Most of the time now with apprenticeships, you would have your mentor come into the office and we would do a face-to-face -face session. A lot of it had to be done through teams. And it must have been nice to, to do the, the, you know, the theory from the academic side while actually sitting in a, in a customer services team. So you, you saw how the theory then meets with the practice? Yeah, it's exactly like that. I feel like, especially working in customer services, people do a lot of things relatively intuitively. Yeah. But when you look at it and actually find out the theory behind it. Okay, so if I say these things to a customer, what is the actual psychological impact of that and so on? Or why do we do the things we do to get positive customer experience? Um, find out the theory behind that is really kind of enlightening, to be honest with you. It gives you a much more well-rounded um, idea of the overall customer journey. Okay, and I'm sure you've seen a few things on uh, things that we can improve given uh, all, all your studies, because you know we're, we're not perfect in any part of the business. Uh, I'm sure James will be looking to pick your brains for some ideas for the future. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, th there's always um, room to improve no matter where we are. Um, I feel like generally in customer services, we do we do, do a pretty good job of putting the customer first. Yeah. Um, and into our considering the overall customer experience and the way we deal with our customers. But of course, there's always room for improvement anyway. Yeah. And how did you find the balance between um, working and having to do the apprenticeship, I presume that's largely in your working hours as well, isn't it? Yeah, so um, with that in particular, my uh, line manager, John Hall, was fantastic with that. Um, the way we initially started, it was a kind of a case of if I needed the time to be able to do apprenticeship work, I was always given that time. But the, the system we kind of devolved with it um, was in the lead up to when I would have monthly apprenticeship yeah. sessions, um, I would have an hour at the end of the day kind of blocked out every okay. day. That was that hour was my apprenticeship hour. And that was an hour on. out of normal working hours that yes. you would concentrate on doing your apprenticeship. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So that was that was my hour then to focus on if I had any theory work or if I needed to build a case study yeah. or so on. That that was that hour to get that done. Okay, that sounds superb. And how is how is do how do you think doing the apprenticeship has actually helped you that you wouldn't have had if you'd come into customer services just to work in customer services rather than doing the the formal training that you've done? So, I mean, obviously outside of the fact that it's a level two qualification yeah. that I now have for my name, um, it, it's helped me in terms of my overall uh, work in customer services because through answering the theory and so on, it's given me a wider scope of customer services in general. So learning things about our NPS or net promoter scores, yeah, yeah. Um, the impact that they have, our yeah. customer satisfaction ratings, yeah. learning about those things to put that uh, work into the theory and say this is how PHS does things okay. um, gives me a wider range of knowledge that other agents and customer service might not have. Okay. Um, it's exploring kind of the wider background as to why we do things we do. Okay, and you like the people that you're working with down in the, that, 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 that wing of the building? 
Yeah, no, absolutely. I, I, it's one of the top things I would say about working for PHS is that generally the culture um, within the office, it is um, a family feel. Uh, that, that's a saying that is heard quite a lot yeah. about the place, but it is absolutely rings true. Okay. Um, it's, a, it's a really positive work culture to work in. And would you recommend your, your, your friends to either PHS or to do an apprenticeship or both? Yeah, no, absolutely. I would recommend PHS as, as e either through an apprenticeship or just as an employer. They are, that's a fantastic place to work and I have recommended it previously to some of my friends. Well, I'm really impressed with how you've articulated all of that. And I would like to say thank you. Thank you. And good luck. Thank, thank you. you.